back my dear friends to another daily tarot reading in today's reading we will be taking a look at what messages are coming through for you guys for the person that's on your mind or just anything that you know the universe that spirit wants to tell you at this time so i hope everybody is doing really well today if you're new to my channel my name is shauna i'm an akashic reader tarot reader obviously and astrologer and i like to bring clarity and guidance to your guys's situation I do also do personal readings if you guys are interested. Those are listed below um, uh, with my website so you can check that out. I do all kinds of different readings if you're interested in that. I also want to tell you guys about Sheila G. This is an amazing all natural Ayurvedic product. I've been taking it for almost a year now you guys and I love it. I take it every single day. It is helping me so much with my anxiety with mental clarity, with brain fog, and with overall health. So if you guys want to check this stuff out, um, I do have a link below and you get to save 10% if you use my code. And I have to put this out. It gets so smoky, you guys. So we have just entered Mercury retrograde. <laughs> I just did a video about that. So I hope everybody's feeling okay. And usually, okay, so Gemini, Virgo, that is going to be the ones that are affected the most or just strong Mercury placements. I actually have a lot of Mercury in my chart, but I was born during a retrograde. So it's kind of like, um, it doesn't really affect me too much, just sometimes kind of thing, but it can affect your speech and communication. That's the thing I kind of notice the most about myself. So let's see what messages Spirit has for you guys today. Spirit, what is going on with the person on their mind? Or messages you want to bring through at this time for my dear friends? Hmm, take a deep breath. I hid who I am from you. Let's see. Something just flipped. It's so crazy when it does that. The timing wasn't right for me. I also have unexpected. It was my fault, but I blamed you and I love you. Interesting, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Let's see. I'm feeling drawn to this deck as well. Make sure I got it all. Let's see. Spirit, what is this? I hid who I am from you. What is going on? Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, three of cups. So we have someone coming through here that probably likes to um, party a lot or likes to pretend like they party a lot. You know, maybe they party um, in order to kind of hide their feelings. Did you guys see that? That was like a stack of cards, though. Timing wasn't right for me. The lovers. Okay. Unexpected. Surprise. Unpredictable. Two of swords. This is my reconciliation card. I've been seeing it a lot lately. King of Pentacles, we could be dealing with an earth sign here, you guys, or somebody in this earth sign energy. Um, make sure you guys can see what's going on. I'm so sad. I'm not going to have flowers for a little while. Because we're getting into fall. Okay. So, yeah, we have somebody that I almost feel like was emotionally unavailable that um, hid their feelings from you and now they're coming to a place where they're really looking at things in decision way and with this king of pentacles energy it's almost like they're trying to get really clear about you know what's practical in their life at this time and when they've done this through you know um, thinking and yeah thinking about what's happened here in the past thinking how they have treated you. I do, I just pick up somebody that is emotionally unavailable, that has pushed you away before. Um, they're wanting to communicate with you about how they feel, 
Nine of Pentacles, Independence Avenue. Yeah, we have somebody that tries to act like everything's fine and they're fine. They don't want relationship. They don't want this connection, those sort of things. However, this feels like it blindsided them, the energy here. Um, yeah, this feels like the, the unexpected card I keep looking at. Enterprise, we have the first house, we have Jupiter and Aries. There's something about your unique energy here that is drawing them, yeah, drawing you to them. They're attracted to you. Let's see here. I feel like this person was pretty cold though. But like I said, they they try to hide they try to hide their emotions. They would party a lot. Yeah. Push you away. But it's like the universe isn't letting them. Now, you guys might even be in a fight right now with this person. Or you guys might, you know, maybe not like a bad one, but just this back and forth. There's something coming through about... I feel like something's being revealed to your person here. To this person in your life. Ooh, it was my fault, but I blamed you. I'm picking up because they are a lot in their ego. I feel like they start fights with people pretty easily. They're like, it's my way or no way. This is how it is. But what I pick up is uh, they actually lie to their, themselves about how they feel. They don't want to be in a relationship because they're afraid. So they just go about their day. They party. They ignore. <sighs> Yep, we have impulsiveness. We have an impulsive person. Somebody that's very, very stuck. I want to say on themselves, really. Um, stuck in their ego here. Very focused on themselves, which isn't a bad thing. I always say focus on yourself. That's what you should be doing. But obviously not in ego and not pushing other people away and being rude to them. Um, yep. Status is very important to this person that's coming through. They want to make sure that they look good. Ooh, I just picked up that like... If there's ever any rumors about this person, they probably freak out and are very, very defensive. Um, yeah, even with this inheritance card, like how they look to their family, to their friends, and the people around them is very, very important. So they act a certain way in order to uphold that image, but it's not the true image of them. It's not how they actually truly feel. Now... Let's pull from my other tarot deck here. Let's see what's going on here. What's this unexpected about? Okay. Yep. <laughs> They've definitely been in their head a lot about you here lately. I almost feel like there's just been this whole shift in their energy. Like the universe brought them something, some information. Like I said, I keep picking up gossip or something about them and they can't deal with it. They don't know how to deal with this gossip. They're being really defensive here and doing almost like crazy things. But I see them almost, you know, they're anxious. They're in their head a lot. They're moving out of this situation here. But they're moving out of this situation through connecting with their true emotions. Ha <laughs> ha. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. They're realizing that they have to connect with their emotions and how they feel in order to feel really, truly good about themselves. That really hiding behind this mask here and just being defensive towards other people is not getting them anywhere at this time. So let's see what they're going to be doing towards you guys. Spirit. What? Uh, we got the Three of Cups again, you guys. So I feel like this person's actually reaching out I still, I still, uh, see, there it is, communicating. I still feel that they kind of are going to be wearing this mask a little bit towards you because they do have feelings. However, yeah, they're going to invite you somewhere or they want to invite you out. They want to invite you to do something here because they want to connect with you again. Um, they are drawn to your energy they're drawn to who you are. It's different. It's unique from other people that they surround themselves with. You're very different. They like that. They didn't realize how much they liked that. And like I said, they initially pushed all that away. We also have the Eight of Cups. So they're having to leave something behind here. I feel like almost 
even to be with you or to connect with you again. And this is a decision that they've had to make. Um, but I do, I see them reaching out and inviting you somewhere. But like I said, I still see them really stuck in their heads at this time. Yep. We're dealing with a lot of water energy here. A lot of people. Yep. I want to know a lot of people. What is this person? Why are they wearing this mask? Like I said, I know that they're hiding so much from you. They want to portray themselves as one way. It's not going to last much longer. Oh, things are about to get a little rough in their life, actually, is what I feel like for them. Mm. I see them reaching out. Okay, yeah, because they're overwhelmed. I almost feel like, like I said, okay, there's been this gossip or things that have been said about them that they're not happy about. Once again, we're dealing with communication because of Mercury retrograde. And they just really don't know who they can turn to and trust. So they're turning to you and having to, I almost feel like, walk away from some friends or some people in their life that have actually almost, like, I want to say stabbed them in the back, hurt them. They were the part of who was, like, talking the shit about them here. And they really don't know how to deal with this here because these are people that they spent time with, that they trusted. However, I felt like they are just kind of like party friends. These people didn't have like a deep connection or anything like that. So they're needing a genuine connection at this time. And they know that that's going to be you. And let me go back to this. I feel like they're going to have to apologize to you for something though. Maybe they blamed you for this gossip. Hmm. Maybe the friends had blamed you. And now the truth is actually coming out that you were not saying these things. This was not you. You're actually trying to help this person. And they're actually seeing that now. So I do. I see them reaching out with an apology, you guys. Communication. Inviting you somewhere. Trying to be, you know, really nice. They're starting to have deep feelings for you as well, too. Which I feel like has always been there. But like I said, that was almost masked over. Because of other things that were going on. Because of how they want to portray themselves to other people here. But yeah, there's people that have been talking about them and they're really like, I don't know who I can turn to at this time. And I feel like they're turning to you in order to get advice, to trust, to confide in at this time, to get some direction is what I'm picking up here. I feel like they're going to come to you with, like I said, like they're going through something and they're going to need someone to talk to. And I feel like that's going to be you guys here. And this could be unexpected for you guys as well, too. But I do see a connection forming from this as well, too. They had the wrong idea is what I'm picking up. They had the wrong idea about you. Like I said, they blamed you for something here. I almost, I do. I just keep picking up gossip. Somebody was gossiping. They were saying things. And the truth is actually coming out. And they're apologizing to you at this time. And I almost feel like in order to make amends, <laughs> they're like, hey, can I take you out for drinks? Can we go out to dinner or something like that? Um, I want to make this up to you is what I'm seeing here. All right, my dear friends, I think that is all that I have for you guys today. I do hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope you guys have a super blessed day. Thank you for watching.